Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Nobody wants to go to an ice cream store called Just Vanilla. You have just one flavor. There are a lot of different ways to get it done. And we're going to be watching a couple of ways to get it done on the football field today. And as a fan of the game, it's going to be a great treat just to watch these two squads, one of whom wants to pitch it all over the yard and go fast, the other one who wants to control the tempo with a physical attack. Seeing these two teams go head-to-head -head is going to be a great treat. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. Stadium in Ann Arbor, home of the Wolverines, holds nearly 110,000 fans. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Michigan has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. He's to the 20. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. The Spartans always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. Come on. Second and long. Ball on the 11-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Brought down at the 18. This is smart, efficient play calling. You don't need to make the highlight reel on each play. Man left, man left. He's taken down at about the 21. The back gets three on the carry. Henning back to return it. Henning fields at the 44, and he's tackled at the 49-yard line. Michigan's coaching staff, the fans, I think everybody's been waiting to see this kid play, and here he is. Well, he's a star quarterback. He seems to bring everything to the table. The crowd, I think, senses he's ready to have a big day. And when your star quarterback feels good at playing at home and he gets off to a good start, some big things can happen for this offense. Makes it to the 41. That makes it second and two. From the 41-yard line, it's second down. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. He's at the 20, has it to the senior. And they make the stop at the 15-yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. From the 15-yard line, it's first down. After a decent run up the gut. That's a 
makes it second and two. They try running left. Nice run there. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. It's first and goal. Ball on the four-yard line. Tackle at the one. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. That brings up second and goal. him down around the four yard line you know it looked to me like he should have made the pitch but he kept it instead and wound up going backwards here we go third and goal from the three yard line here we go here we go he's gonna try and scramble decides to take it himself and he's got it touchdown Touchdown. He didn't see anyone open, so he just took it in himself. This quarterback is fearless, and the defense needs to either spy him or walk the safeties up when they've got the ball down near the goal line. He makes the PAT. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. Iowa and Iowa State hook up in the battle for the Cyhawk Trophy. And for Iowa State, in the waning moments, time a major enemy they score to take the lead and for brock he racked up more than 100 yards receiving the cyclones win it by three elsewhere an update on the game at university park and for ucf they've won two straight and for bowser he hit the 100 yard mark in this one ucf wins it 24 23. all right thanks reese moody gets set to kick this one away Sends it sailing downfield. Gets to about the 24-yard line. The Wolverines are right where they want to be early in this one, Parker. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. rid of this one great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback and right now i think they've got him with some happy feet he appears to be a bit rattled second and ten ball on the 24 yard line trying to set up a little screen gets it to his tailback and he's tackled at the 33 yard line so they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. And he's taken down at the 37. This is a big first down for this offense. I think it's another good example about how important it is to have an awareness about you as a wide receiver. The wide receiver did a really good job of knowing exactly where the first down marker was, and he made sure to get the route at least to that point, so when he made the catch and got hit, he had the first down. He fights forward to about the 40. From their own 40-yard line, it's second down. Fires it out. At the 30, he's pushed out of bounds around the 25-yard line. Well, you give up too many passes like that, and the game will be done before you know it. They cannot let these receivers get behind them. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and 10. He 
He's got his man across the middle. And down he goes at the 19-yard line. Number 93 with the tackle at the 19-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Tackle made at the 16. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Now he tries to buy some time. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. He's got it out to his tight end. And he tackles him hard at the eight. That's a loss of four yards. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start. But you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. We've got second and goal. Eight yards out. Nice run up the middle. That's a game of six on the play. That makes it third and goal. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Throws to the receiver. Got it for the touchdown. Fired it out to his wide receiver, who made the grab and got the score. When this guy's got time to throw, he makes the defense pay. The extra point to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. An 11-play, 79-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. We're even at seven in this one. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 27. So at the end of one quarter, we get a tie game at 7-7. to the action now here in the second quarter. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. He's tackled at the 23-yard line. The Wolverines have one of the most dangerous offensive weapons in the entire country under center today. This kid is really fun to watch. He's fun to watch unless you're a defensive coordinator. One thing's for sure, it's going to be a great chess match between the offensive and defensive coordinators today from their own 23-yard line. Second down. Nice run there as they work the outside. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Brought down at the 33. That makes it fourth and four. Garrett is back deep to return the punt. Out of bounds around the 28-yard line. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. And they hit him in the backfield. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 25-yard line. Ross 
Picks up about five yards on that hookup. That'll bring up third and eight. Five wide. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Well, the defense did all there. Well, the defense did what they had to do to get three and out and now get the offense back on the field. He's taken down at the 50-yard line. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Slings it. He's at the 40. He steps out at the 27-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 27-yard line. He's on the run. Fumble. Loose ball. I'll tell you, when a guy as big as this lineman gets his paws on a loose ball, you can pretty much forget about it. You're not getting the ball back from him. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. They'll spread the field with five wide. And they'll bring him down behind the line. This guy's out of the stance so quickly that he's really a nightmare to try to block. As they found out right here on this play. Second down. Got to be careful down here, deep in your own territory. He's taken down at the four. They're packed in tight on the line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Henning fields at the 42. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. This offense lost the ball by way of a fumble the last time they had it. You don't change your philosophy after one play. They'll be out doing the same thing as before, just with better awareness. And he's hit immediately. Guys, I really like what the offensive coordinator is doing here. Throwing it on first and second down to keep the defense guessing. the 17-yard line. First down. Give to the tailback. Tackled after a decent pickup. Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 17-yard line. And they got him. Man, these guys can be aggressive. 
And you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Fourth and long here after the sack. Michigan is looking to go up by three. Kicks away, and he nails the long field goal. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 10-7, Michigan. Moody looks ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 19. Well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle. That's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. And at this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. They bring him down. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. The Spartans taking their first time out of the half. From their own 19-yard line, it's second down. He's scrambling, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. How about the effort of the defense right there? Michigan's going to use their first time out of the half here. the stop around the 17-yard line. They might have been able to catch the defense off guard with a play-action pass there, but by going to the ground, they didn't have much of an opening. Certainly, they don't have the return on here. Henning takes it at the 43. He's knocked out of bounds right around the 46-yard line. The Wolverines right now are getting the play out of their quarterback that they expected, maybe even better than they expected. And now, as we get near halftime, there's going to have to be some adjustments made on the other side of the ball. Well, the defense has got to be happy we're getting close to halftime so they can go back to the drawing board and try to figure out a way to slow down this quarterback. Uh, I think that more often than not, you look back at the first half and you think about, okay, let's eliminate this, this, and this, and let's maybe try a completely different way of, of trying to attack in my opinion, they've got to take some chances and be more aggressive in trying to put pressure on it. What they've done so far hasn't worked. Rose left, the running back's got it, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 48. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 36. Michigan is up a field goal. Got a man, watch out here. Tackle at the 18-yard line. Easy, easy. Play. Rifles this one out to the left. Incomplete pass. The defense does a nice job here of forcing the tight end close enough to the boundary where it's tough for him to have any spacing at all to be able to get a foot down to be able to make that reception. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 18. They'll bring him down at about the nine yard line. a great tackle at the two. I love to watch quarterbacks on third down to just kind of see where they are as far as their psyche and, and their, their approach to the game. Just another big third down. He was able to sit back, evaluate the defense, had just enough time to be able to make the throw. They pick up the first down, they get a new set of downs. 
He gets it up, and they tack on three points. We've played a half of football here. The Wolverines in front by six. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Both teams wanted to establish a running game. Both teams were stubborn in trying to do so, and neither team was successful. Did you get the sense the defense knew what was coming? Hey, dude, first and 10 means run. Yeah, I think, I think when you do it every single time, it doesn't really uh, make it hard for a defense to figure out. You can become much more aggressive. You got to take some chances. I, you want to stick with the run. You want to have that balance. But if you don't push the ball down the field, then I never have to honor it. So mix in some first down passes and runs. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some astroturf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. Very close game now as we start the second half. Henning fields at the goal line. And he's tackled at the 28-yard line. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Michigan with a six-point lead. He's brought down in the open field. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 39. Swings it out there incomplete. He tried to hit his receiver in stride, but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time. Just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. They'll knock him down for a loss. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. From their own 37-yard line. Third down. Gets it out. He's met immediately. A four-yard loss. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Robbins is waiting for the snap. Tackle at the 30. When he made the decision to return the ball, I'm sure he thought there was going to be some room to run. But boy, did it vanish in a hurry. Still, he got something out of it. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Tackle made around the 26-yard line. Did you see how quickly he was able to get into the backfield and make that tackle? Not many guys that big can move that fast. It's second down now, 14 to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Caught out in the open. He goes out of bounds at about the 39-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. After a decent run up the gut. Gain of five yards. First down. First and ten. Ball on their own 44. Go. 
Makes it out to about the 46. That'll make it second in inches. And down he goes at the 38. Call it a gain of eight yards. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. And he's taken down at about the 29-yard line. That brings up second and one. He's tackled at about the 31. The lineman had a big push there to get in the backfield and bring him down. And once he gets moving, there's no stopping him. This guy is so big and strong that he's almost impossible to block with one guy. This is the eighth play of this drive. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's tackled at the 22. First and ten. From the 22-yard line, first down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Throws to the receiver. Got it for the touchdown. Trying to take the lead. Here's the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra points. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Kentucky and Louisville in the battle for the Governor's Cup. These two teams hate every wretched breath the other one sucks into their greedy lungs. Louisville leads it 16-13. I don't expect that that score is going to hold, but boy, that would be an upset. San Jose State lines up for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Brought down around the 35-yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. She had a couple of freight trains coming at him, but when they blitzed, it created a hole in the coverage, and they took advantage of it. And he hits him hard at the 49. From the 49-yard line, second down. Takes a handoff, tackled for a loss. Loss of one on the play. That'll make it 39. the grab past the marker. He's taken down around the 36-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Field. 
I like how the defense got all up into that option to disrupt it. The offense looks a bit unsettled after losing that battle. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he tackles him hard at the 27. That makes it fourth and inches. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Tenth play of the drive. Gets out to about the 22-yard line. That brings up second and nine. From the 22-yard line, second down. One quarter to go, and this looks like it could come down to the very end. The Spartans lead it by one. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Inside the 10. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. We're at the 12th play of the drive. this offense so tough to defend when you have a quarterback with the ability to run and throw and he gets down into this area of the field chances are he's going to find his way into the end zone so the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion caught it and the conversion is good a 12 play 76 yard drive and they get eight points after that two-point conversion They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Right, this has been a great game to watch. A lot of competitive spirit out there. The offenses seem to be going up and down the field. Back and forth we go. I think the winner will be which defense can make that pivotal stop to secure a victory. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. The option can be really tough to defend. At that time, it was well played by the defense. Second down and 12. Ball on their own 23. They make the stop at the 18. You know, it looked to me like he should have made the pitch, but he kept it instead and wound up going backwards. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Turn man. He makes it out to midfield, and he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Michigan is up seven. Gets to about the 47-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. 
It's second and seven. Ball on the 47 yard line. Can't wrap him up. Tackle at the 37. So he keeps it and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Gains his way to the 26-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 26-yard line. He fights forward to about the 26. No deal on the play. That makes it second and 10. Bring him down at the 25-yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. Third down. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Pass out to the tight end, but it's incomplete. Number 18 was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and nine. Michigan is up a score. It's up, looks long enough, and he just drilled it from long range. Moody looks ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 26-yard line. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick throw out to the receiver. Tackle made right around the 40. First and ten. Gets it. He's in space. And down he goes. Around the 47 yard line. Gaining 13 yards. First down. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. He's out of bounds around the 44-yard line. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball on the 44-yard line. Throws this one out to the left. I think this defense got a little bit soft with the two-possession lead. They better pick it up because this game is a long way from being over. Quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. From the 15-yard line, second down. Less than three minutes in the game. Quick strike, and he drops it. That brings us third and ten. Steps out of bounds at the nine. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Zips it to the back, and he's taken down at about the nine-yard line. 
They'll come back out with some confidence from having put through the field goal last time. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Red two. Tackled after a decent pickup. The defense had a great opportunity there, and they let it go. This is an offense that's clearly working clock. They've got to get more aggressive defensively and attack the line of scrimmage to be able to slow down this offense from getting first down. Up the middle for a nice game. San Jose State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They get nice yardage on that run. The defense has got to do a better job of being more aggressive. You know, this offense doesn't seem to be in much of a hurry. They're working the clock. You know the chances are they're going to run the football. That allows the defense to pin their ears back and get aggressive. It really comes down to the defensive linemen holding up against the offensive line and the linebackers and safeties crashing downhill and making plays against the run game. From their own 41-yard line, it's first down. A little over a minute in the game. Black five, black five, three, eight, three. Takes the ball right. Makes it out to about the 49. That makes it second and two. again he fights forward to around midfield short yardage situation here it's third and one and so that's going to do it the wolverines take this one 24-14 That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.